Pokemon Emerald is one of the greatest games ever made. King Crady is one of the greatest up and coming YouTubers ever. The Lord blessed me and made those two little things come together into one incredible wrong pack called Pokemon Emerald Mini. Emerald Mini takes the magic of Emerald and packs it into a smaller form factor. Every trainer is identical, but the routes and towns are turned into adorable mini versions of themselves. I've actually been following the production of this ROM hack for a few months, so when the demo for this ROM hack came out, I pretty much dropped everything to play it. Downloaded the demo, patched my ROM, and headed into Pokemon Emerald Mini. I started the game in Little Root Town, but in this, it needs to be renamed to Micro Root Town because my word, it's so tiny and cute. Anyways, my mom comes down from Micro Route 1 and introduces me into the world a little, before I move forward and grab the one and only good starter, Friday at Midnight, the Mukjang. After grabbing him, I head past Minidale into the route above and find Wally? That's right, in this game, Mayor Brennan is no longer a rival, it's the good old underutilized rival Wally. Kid Flash's routes get taken down my front, allowing us to go get some new encounters. We grab KN4 VK5 PU4 I the Poochiana and move left. Also grabbing Sea Bunny H to Lotad before getting to Pedalburg. In Pedalburg, I talk to my father, before skipping town to grab some more encounters. There I caught QF6LC6KR2E the Wingle, as well as Rigo Geldof the Slackoff in Petalburg Woods. If you can't tell, these are my commenters, man. Once I got into Rustboro, it was time to challenge the gym. The gym challenge has been changed in this game. Now it's a gym gauntlet. This means I have to fight every trainer in a row without switching any of my party members. Luckily, my team is powerful enough to squeak out a win and get out any deaths, and Sea Bunny evolves right after the fight. After receiving our first gym badge, we grab Pico and go inside a building for the first time. It's quite terrifying actually, and I receive the Poke Nav and run out. After fleeing, Wallace West asks us to battle. We take care of the young speedster easily and continue moving forward. We still have to do for catching Purple Lobster the Tentacle. After delivering Steven his letter, we add Cowkip the Zubat to the team as well. We then foolishly decide to challenge the gym, forgetting these battles are a gauntlet. Wait, I forgot to... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. This gauntlet proves to be quite the difficult challenge, and I barely squeak out a win against it. These gauntlets are really no joke. You know what else is no joke? Me asking you to subscribe. So go do that. After a lucky win, we sail up to Slateport. We talk to Doc before heading into another building to find Stern. I find him, but I have a panic attack inside this strange enclosed space and brutally assault two blue uniform men. After I'm forced to flee the law, heading up and grabbing the goat, Magnus Pokemon the Minu. She proved her worth immediately, assisting us against the golden suited speedster and leading us into Novel. In Novel, we challenge the gym gauntlet with my newly evolved Marchomp. Friday and KN4 make light work of the double battle gauntlet and help me get my third gym badge. We move forward, beating the Winstraight family and running into Scott. Scott tells me to prove my skill, I need to defeat all four seven frontier brains scattered throughout the region. And so I do. One after another, these frontier frauds fall to the power of my minor. Magnus wreaks havoc and throws the world into chaos. After annihilating the frontier brains, Scott calls the most powerful trainer he knows to stop me, but by then, it's already too late. Minen and the gang lay waste to Red and his team, proving I'm the most powerful trainer and beating me the demo. This demo was awesome and I will absolutely play the full game when it comes out. Huge thank to King Crady for letting me check out this demo, and check out the super high quality devlog videos he's been making for the game. Subscribe for more Pokemon videos, and have a good day.